Hello guys, today I'm going to talk about servers and just give you the basic overview of what servers are, computer servers. Um, so yeah, so let's begin. So, also first of all, thank you for clicking on this video. So yes, uh, servers, this is a centralized computer which provides uh, services to local computers on the network. Clients can connect to a server using a VPN over the internet or LAN local area network. Why would you, you're probably thinking, why would you need a server? Well, okay, so the reason why you need a server because large organizations have individual servers for, for like, you know, you can have a web, web, web server, you can have a database server, you can have a email server it's it helps you manage resources centrally you know and uh, help provide us like you know email services and you know database services you know what i'm saying centrally so all your clients can connect to it and uh, this makes everything the whole process easier smaller organizations can can get away with having one server with all their services, but large organizations need so multiple servers. A server is a role that a computer takes because any ordinary desktop can, can also be set up as a server. You can have a computer home set up as a file server and other computers within your house hold, can connect to this server that you've converted into a server Sorry, this computer that you've con converted into server to retrieve files and save them. Servers such as a web server at home. Um, you can have o an ordinary desktop converted into a server. Um, however, the desktops have their limitations. Like desktop computers are designed to be to handle only a limited amount of connections, concurrent current connections. Okay. Desktop computers are not designed to handle large workloads, so a, ser a server needs to be be up and up and running 24/7. Servers are vital to organizations. You know, if a server goes down, that could jeopardize a business or organization. You know, and that's why web servers, web server, well, that's why server hardware is is robust, so it can handle all types of pressure. So the server hardware, it's just. So server hardware you have so okay sorry servers have their own line of processes known as Intel X Eon series. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm sorry if I've mispronounced it. Uh, so let's put up CPUs. Yes. Um, also, the server motherboards have slots for two processors, so you can continue working in case there is a failure so do you know how on a normal desktop you have a cpu and one motherboard you know what i'm saying and only room for one processor on on a server's motherboard board. example take this one you have two room for two processors suppose this motherboard supports multiple processors so if one goes down the other one can take over so that's why it's that's why having a specialized server for all your resources is vital also Intel X Eon works with EEC RAM ECC RAM ECC RAM stands for error correcting code so this protects 
against memory errors. And ECC RAM is mainly used in servers. It detects if the data was correctly processed. That's what an ECC RAM looks like. So servers need to be up and running at all times and memory errors could bring down the server. So ECC RAM, memory RAM, oh sorry, RAM is used in servers. E -E helps, it helps protect or add an extra layer of security which de deters the server from shutting down in case there were any memory errors. So the desktop CPUs, you have Intel Core CPUs, but Intel Core CPUs don't support ECC RAM. Um, however, AMD desktop CPUs do support ECC RAM. On on the Intel X Eon processors. Um, they support a large number amounts of RAM, so and it also has a lot, la la larger cache memory as well. So you can have loads of RAM on on the on the Axion series of processors. You know that's why they're used in in a server. As far as server storage is concerned, so you have server server sorry not concerned, but goes server storage. A server should have a RAID setup so in case one hard drive goes down another one can take its place and in a RAID setup hard drives are hot swappable. So RAID copy, copies basically in a RAID uh, setup RAID copies data on multiple disks and if one go drive is has gone down something's wrong with it you can easily just pull out the drive you know without switching off the whole system that's the, that's that's where it means when it, when it's talking about hot softball so the server power supplies let's take a look at those power supplies Servers also should have redundant power supplies. So, you know, as you know, servers need to be up and running at all time. So you can't have your power supplies, you know, not working properly. So, so they have their own special power supplies, you know, that it comes with. So, yeah, power supplies. The servers, the operating system used in a server. Um, um, you can have Microsoft's server operating systems, like Windows 2012, you know. Or the latest one, I think it's 2016. Yes, okay, hold on. Yeah, yeah, but the latest one was 2012. You can have a Linux ones, you can have Mac OS operate server operating systems. So, um, servers have their own operating systems specifically built for them to handle thousands of connections concurrently that's why the, that's why it makes it robust and stable so there's several different types of servers okay so I'm just see if I can. okay 
like over here you you can have like a web server that hosts the website it stores the images HTML code data and running the ser web server software all the ser website stuff on the server clients can connect to the web server over the internet to view the website an email server facilitates the sending and receiving of email you can access the email using your web browser or email clients such as Outlook or Thunderbird using an email protocol such as IMAP or IMAP POP or SMPT databases you can have a database server which stores data on the back end uh, on the server clients can connect to this to the front end to retrieve data from the database servers so uh, this is um, just wanted to go with the basics of service so I hope I've explained everything too clearly and please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and be back with another video soon thank you